Hi guys, uh, I just finished yoga. I can't explain how it feels. It is most challenging for me. And it has been like I haven't felt this challenge in terms of you know, physical training. At the same time, this is the most uh, ecstatic and magical experience, you know, because uh, it just makes me wonder that how incredible everything is, the body and how we perceive things, what is happening outside the day, the night, the evening, sunsets. Everything is so magical and beautiful and everyone is missing out on this and that is so sad I feel. You know people, they say I'm getting bored, I'm getting bored. I feel that's the biggest blunder we all are making, you know. Because if we realize, if you're able to experience the magic of life, then I personally feel that even missing out missing out on this life what we see even for a moment is a big loss you know it's a big big loss and there's so much to do there is so much of possibility you know there's no limit of possibility you can do anything in life you are limitless and then it's so sad that we all have limited ourselves into an idea you know this is what we do this is what we like this is what we don't like these are the people we want to chill or sit with these are the people we don't like that's how we have been caging ourselves you know we all have created our own prisons you know and we all are suffering because of that because deep down deep down within all of us there is something which is longing for expansion which wants to grow there's something within us which doesn't like to be a slave which does not like to be caged behind a little tiny idea of the self that's why we all have been suffering and struggling and trying so hard to find meaning in this and that for a certain period of time our careers might fool us they might make us feel like this is what i live for but after a period of time no matter how much we lie if we haven't really unlocked things and the wisdom from within then we would just be lying about the fact that we enjoy what we do because again there won't be any juice in it there, there won't be any everything turns everything becomes so bland and also yeah i was doing yoga so i just realized that uh, i had a very stubborn hip flexor injury uh, i used to face terrible pain while doing leg raises or even uh, while running i used to feel very uncomfortable and it used to be very painful it was so stubborn that I thought okay, I might not be able to run and do things like ever in my life because this injury lasted for almost two years now and I must have consulted a couple of really very good physiotherapists but nothing made any, nothing could fix it, no one could fix it and then eventually I started doing yoga and I'm fine, I'm completely fine. I just realized that certain areas of our body and certain muscles, they when we do a lot of training and when we lift a lot and when we push ourselves, when we really take our muscles through incredible resistance which is lifting or any sort of conditioning our muscles tend to get sometimes get hurt and in the process of saving itself the body's intelligence stiffens and it does its best you know to save that area and to save the muscle from getting injured the area right around that muscle or close by to that muscle gets really very hard you know and it starts blocking and it, it hinders the flow of the blood and eventually it just it just gets really tight and starts hurting and becomes it becomes a stubborn internal injury which you can't really detect through yoga i have realized that a single conscious breath towards any muscle injured or which is paining it can heal you magically within one or two sessions and uh, there are asanas you know those asanas so through those asanas i have actually figured fr from my own body that through those asanas i could release the muscle and the, that blood could flow through certain areas and my muscles could heal all of that happened within a week seven eight days maximum my two years long injury was gone Oof, like never existed before and i also feel that like a lot of you must be practicing handstands or a lot of stability work and your body must not be supporting uh, your intention what you want to achieve so this is a, this is something i want to share with you all that the muscles which help you in being stable the muscles that bring stability while doing any handstand maybe or any sort of thing whatever you want to do they are solely dependent upon oxygen so if you focus on deep breath while while executing that exercise or whatever handstand or maybe headstand whatever xyz if you breathe deep it will help you tremendously and you will learn great things about your own body that your body is stable it will it won't wobble so the basically the idea is to bring awareness within to bring awareness into your activities and into your exercises and be mindful while doing it instead of being 
outward stay inward and uh, obviously the moment you do anything with mindfulness the touch of consciousness just enhances everything enhances on a level that your mind cannot comprehend or grasp that's how certain people have a magical touch you know they are the portal you know the entire universe is is focused into their bodies and they just become a, a doorway you know which is which is bringing that greater intelligence greater of all intelligence into our day to day lives through their actions and through their day to day activities through their conversations yeah i this might sound a little uh, complicated but i don't really care about that i just want to talk about this so i'm really very happy thank you so much guys i wish you all love freedom and please do take care of yourself keep growing right now i'm just planning to and maybe work on a skill i don't know what will i do but i just feel like training we'll go and train now i'm three meals down so far let's see how it goes i'm damn sure it'll be amazing love you all mm.